You're going to love this one. Flu season that looked like a big one, beaten by hygiene isolation. A potentially huge flu season appears to have been headed off by the hand washing, quarantine and social distancing measures designed to control COVID-19. So for starters there, they're going to uh, make out, all right, this has worked, so let's wash our hands all the time. We're going to have social dist distancing forever and ever and quarantining. Are uh, you fucking joking? It gets worse. Confirmed cases of influenza dropped, get this, from 7,002 in February to just 95 in April. So far as the government's measures to slow the spread of COVID-19 kicked in. So, what's going on here? Oh, obviously, um, all the influences have been classed as COVID-19s. Correct? Doesn't take a, a brain surgeon to work that out. That is a massive drop. 7,000 to 95, but it gets better. No flus is good news. Similar numbers in February 2019 led to 18,667 infections in April last year. 18,667 as compared to what? 95? That is massive. Oh, but, you know, we've got a pandemic here. That is a massive drop. The steep drop, all right, it's a steep drop. I, I think it's a massive drop. Has some experts pondering. Experts, yeah, I love this fucking term, experts. What fucking experts? Pondering whether some of the measures used to control COVID-19 should be used in future to prevent horror flu seasons. So there it is. Get used to the lockdowns, uh, folks. Get used to the lockdowns because we're going to stop the flu now. The number of confirmed flu infections in January and February 2020 was higher than average, according to official government figures. We were thinking, here we go, it could be a big one, says Kim Sampson. They finally mentioned a name. Chief Executive of the Immunisation Coalition, a group that received some of its funding from the major flu vaccine manufacturers. Oh, well, you know, straight away, if you're getting funding from them, you're going to be corrupt. Oh, look at this scary-looking fucking thing. That's going to kill you. But two-thirds of the way through April, the country is on track for what federal government data shows is the lowest monthly total in at least a decade. But we're still in fucking lockdown. No one's getting sick. It's dropped. I'll point out again. There is 18,667 infections last year to 95. But we're in lockdown like fucking prisoners. The economy's gone to ruin. Million people, whatever, have lost their jobs. And it, and it's dropped like that. And we're just sitting back and fucking copping this up the backside. Sorry, I meant ass. That data relies on a person turning up at a GP hospital and having a sample sent to a laboratory which can sometimes skew the results. Some state health departments say they have noted an increase in testing as more people present to GPs worried about having COVID-19. The University of Newcastle's weekly online flu tracking survey of about 70,000 people is also reporting historically low levels of flu-like illness. I think many people are going to be looking back on this and wondering what we can do to more what we can do to do more during the flu season, says Dr. Sampson. Yes, lock us down. Keep us away from working. Don't let us play golf. Sounds good to me. Check this out. Australia was on track for a bad flu season. Then COVID-19 happened. Oh, maybe COVID-19 was one of the best things that could have happened to us. Have a look at the blue. That's 219. There, and look at this fucking thing. There it goes up there and down, you know. May to September, that's the colder months. That's where you're more susceptible to getting the flu. But look at fucking this, 2020. From there, 
It's gone down to fucking zero. Zero. What? And we're all locked inside. Here we go again. Experts suggested several factors that may have contributed. They agreed the biggest factor was the federal government progressively ramped up social distancing measures. Oh, we're going to love that. You know, federal government social distancing measures to stem the spread of COVID-19, eventually closing down all non-essential. Non-essential. Who fucking determines what's essential or non-essential? So let's, let's all close down fucking businesses throughout the country just to get the fucking flu down. Fucking get the flu down. We can all handle the flu, can't we? It's not going to kill us. Yeah, let's have a flu for a couple of days. No big friggin' deal. But it gets better. Doctors have been urging people to get their flu vaccine. Oh, of course this was going to come up early, leading to unprecedented demand for the jab. They're going to put that in. People are going to read this. Oh, fuck, I better, I better hurry up and get mine. Everyone else is getting it. You know, herd mentality. Government campaigns are encouraging people to wash their hands and avoid touching their face. How dare you touch your face? Oh, my God. Can you pick your nose? Is that all right? Can you pick your nose? Can you scratch your eyes? No, don't do that. And some people with a cough or runny nose, but who are not eligible for a COVID-19 test, have been asked to self-isolate anyway. While many people are avoiding contact with the elderly, of course, of caution. That's right. We can't visit the elderly in hospital. Stay away. That's good work. That's social distancing. You know, someone's going to die uh, within days, but you're not allowed to go visit them. No, let them die. They'd get the phone call and say, sorry, uh, your grandma died. Stiff shit. Uh, but anyway, the funeral. Funeral should be good. You can have 10 people there. That's good. Social distancing, you know. Going to stop this cough. That's pretty much what health experts have been calling on people. Here we go. The fucking health experts, experts, have been calling on people to do during flu season. Yeah, flu season. Just, you know, everyone stay away from each other. Don't go outside. Don't play golf. Don't go to the footy. Don't go to the races. Don't, don't go to the pub. Don't go anywhere. Those are the sort of lessons that the massive public re-education that's going on with COVID-19 will translate to flu. Get fucked, translate to flu. Oh, I just happen to be a director of WHO. Collaborating Centre for Research and fucking bullshit on influenza. Maybe people will be a bit le less dismissive of flu season. I'll just play this. Hang on, what, what have we got here? And many people have taken to wearing masks in public. Yeah, that'll be compulsory. This is not unusual in places such as Hong Kong. It's because they've got fucking shit air. That's why they wear the mask. Where people don masks when they have flu, have flu symptoms to prevent spreading the virus. Nah, the, the, the brain dead wear masks because, you know, the, the air's fucked. That's why. The evidence for this remains controversial. In Australia, we just don't current. In Australia, we just don't culturally wear masks. But it's fairly normal now. And that's only happened in the last month ago. Because of herd mentality. As soon as some people say, wear a mask, oh, we fucking got to wear them. We got to protect ourselves. If you're sick, don't soldier on like Caldwell, Caldwell Ad tells you to do. Stay at home. Don't spread it to other people. Stay at home. Don't go to work. Lose your job. Close your business. Because we're going to stop the fucking flu that anyone, every one of us can handle. Uh, this video, coronavirus doctors calling for more flu vaccines. Uh, let's check out what they say. In the midst of a global pandemic, a tiny jab has never seemed so important. But with so many people trying to get in early this year, there are now waiting lists for flu vaccines. GPs simply don't have enough in stock. You love that. That's how they scare people. They did it with the swine flu. There's, you know... A huge waiting list. There's not enough in stock. People believe that shit, and they rush to get it. You know, it always fuck. They use that shit all the time. I mean, come on. 
You're not that stupid to believe this crap. Uh, not enough in stock. Quick, I better go out and, and get my vaccine before they run out of stock. Yeah, right. They got they got stockpiles like you can't fucking imagine. Most people run out of it usually within a day or so. Oh. We're struggling to keep up with our demand at the moment. The problem appears not to be a shortage, but rather a supply chain issue. Doctors are sent their vaccines from New South Wales Health and private suppliers. It's usually given in staggered batches, as there's only so much room in their fridges. However, for many clinics, their first allotment is already gone, and they say there's a wait of more than a week to get more. <laughs> Bullshit. Even the health minister himself had to wait 10 days to have his flu shot. It's a high priority for the government. You had a flu um, shot, my flu fucking flu ass. You had a flu shot. Are reassuring the public there are enough vaccines. Look at the smiles. 2.6 million doses are available. They smile when they inject this the in the national you. immunisation program. But doctors say they're frustrated at the time it's taking to receive them. We've got low community spread of the coronavirus. Oh, you're frustrated, are you? You fucking germ. Old, flu season starts in proper. So you get your commission out of these jabs, mate. Better. The health system becomes overloaded if we have people who have... Oh, um, fuck have off, Mackay, you and, piece uh, of slag. hospitalised uh, and slag those who have shit. COVID-19 as well. You can also get your flu shot at some pharmacies. Oh, yeah. However, if you're over the age of 65... Let's rush to Chemist Warehouse. GP, ...as they have a vaccine specific for your age group. Laura Tunstall, 9 News.